In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your chart of accounts in Zoho Books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I am a Zoho Finance Partner at New Light Financial Solutions. Here at New Light Financial Solutions, we are on a mission to help demystify business finances as well as partner with as many business owners as possible to help them have a growing and more profitable business. Thank you so much for joining us on our YouTube channel today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. Okay, so I'm back in my chart of accounts and I wanna talk about configuring your chart of accounts or updating the chart of accounts. In my previous video on the, on the introduction of the chart of accounts, I showed how to create a new account. So we're not gonna go over that, but I wanna show you what do you do if you need to make changes. Um, so there might be instances where you want to make updates to names of your chart of accounts, or maybe you're not using accounts anymore, or if you're like many of the companies that we help, sometimes there's more than one person working on things and there's duplicates um, that maybe you want to inactivate or get rid of. So if I'm on my chart of accounts and there's an account that I want to rename, it's really quite simple. If I hover over the little gear icon over here, you can click the edit button. You can also click on the account itself and there's a little edit icon up at the top. So either way, it'll take you to the screen. Um, and this screen is the same screen used when you create it to begin with. If you want to change the name, let's say um, you would just type it in here. So I might just change this to auto maintenance and then click save. You can also change the account type if you need to. Maybe you created the wrong type. You can select a different one here, uh, update the description or even add it to your watch list again. So um, whenever you're done making those changes, you would just click the save button. And that you'll see that it gets automatically updated. Um, I'll close that out and I can scroll down and now it's got the name change here. You can also inactivate or delete charts of accounts. Um, the the thing I want to call out here though is if you try to delete an account that has transactions in it, the system will actually not let you do that. So let's say I have this office supplies one. Um, if I hover over and I click the delete option, it'll give me this pop-up message that says you can't actually delete this account because you have transactions associated with it. Um, so in this case, you will have to do a bulk update um, to actually delete it. And I am going to go over merging accounts in another video and we'll talk about that. Uh, so if you have an account that you don't have um, transactions in, you can delete them. So let's say this one that I just created, I can delete it if I hover over this and click the delete option, it'll still ask you, are you sure you really wanna do this? You would just click the okay button and then your account is gone, it's deleted. Um, if if there's a an account maybe you're not using anymore, you used it last year and you don't wanna use it this year to clean up your account so there's not so many to choose from when you're making categorizations, you can just inactivate it. So let's say I don't have a storage unit anymore and I don't need this anymore. If I hover over the icon here and I click mark as inactive, then it has been marked as inactive. And when I go to create new transactions or categorize transactions, that option won't be there for me to use anymore. And that's really it. When it comes to the chart of accounts, you can add new accounts, you can update existing accounts, maybe you wanna change the names or the account types, you can inactivate the ones that you're no longer using, or you can delete ones that were created in error or that you just don't need. Hopefully this helps you better understand your chart of accounts. I will see you on the next video.